Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Niyamuda here. First thing first, I want you to go over there and hit the subscription button and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post tutorials to my channel. Alright, so today we're going to be doing this um, mini shin shin. Yeah, a chinchy snack um, design from scratch. I'm going to put it on a mock up using our smartphone. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, so the size I'm going to be using is 904, nine, sorry, 905 by 1280. So this is the size. Alright, let me take this guy out. Okay, so we are going to use some elements let me bring in one of the elements we'll be using which is this particular picture here but before we do that we we'll have to remove the background from the picture so you can get photo room i'll drop the link to download photo room in the description of this video so click on start from photo and you would select the video sorry this guy this is the picture we're going to be using so Photo room will automatically remove the background for you. Go over to the transparent background, click on it, and then click on this upload icon. And then you'll be able to save or export to your gallery. Once that is done, it means that we can now go over to Pixel Lab, then we'll pick the picture from there. This is the image we're going to be using as a model for our design. Now, basically, I want to give the um, this chin chin, let me just put the chin chin here. Okay, charge up. Okay, let's say yummy. Okay, this is. Let's use a playful font, a very playful font like this. Or we can still go and look out for a font that is not so corporate. Like, oh, let's be looking at for something. Oh, let's see this. I think I like this. All right, so let's see. Um, I'm going to cut this or break it. Increase it. We centralize this guy here. Okay, so let's just call it Mama Yummy Shinshi. Okay, it's just our name. Okay, just for the purpose of the design. But beyond that, we're well, going to be learning some things. So watch and learn. So I want this lady to be here. Okay. Okay, and then I also want. I would use this. Okay. That is best to change. Okay, this is it. All right. So for the because this is a food design, I'm going to be using one of the food colors. Of course, we're going to be using orange. Orange is a food color. Green is a food color, and red, and also yellow. So let's work with orange and yellow. Right, so let's go. Um, so let's go back to the background. I want to use this. I'm coming over it now. This is the program I'm going to be using. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where is it? Okay, so. Alright, so this is it. So, like I said orange so i'm going to go to color features and i would use you to get the orange color all right this is blue so how do we get orange around here okay so this is saturation so orange is around here so this way you make use of your eyes um can you see orange okay it's almost there I 
think we are we're almost there so we have a combination of kind of yellow and okay so this is it so we'll go over here and we'll get these um, stripes that we're going to be using before we use the stripe for it to work that means this guy which is the background is going to uh, we're going to reduce the opacity for the stripe to work so we'll reduce the opacity just a little and then we'll go back to the stripes again and then we'll work on the stripes so i want the repeat to be big like this then i want this background now to go to the back behind the image where can we get the, um, the the yellow? What can we do about the yellow? So I want to get a circle to form that yellow. So this is it, and we we'll just go back to color and then click on it and go get your yellow. I want it right there. So this is it. So um, send it. No, send the mama yummy to the front. If the mama yum is at the front, it means that this uh, mama yum is going to be change color. But if that's what we want to do, it means that it's going to be something like this. So that means this my guy is going to increase. All right, so we are coming, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere. There's something that is missing. The chin chin. The front so I want the chin chin to carry the color of the background all right so I wanted to get this kind of orange dark orange um, like a burnt orange color it's okay all right so now um, let's put some stuff here enjoy the taste of to work with a vertical where it is is dark so you can use yellow 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 will fit it or we use white color right there whichever one is going to come out fine so but let me just use something here already here uh, I just want to keep a consistent flow of the circle and for the design so it's either this is going to be white or something else so if I use white I would not like it let me use this white here and let me use this color this color here how do you see it I think I'll prefer it the other way around Okay. Let's just work on this. All right, we just worked on the image. 
okay so i want to get uh, something that will uh, okay let's work on this let's just work on this first so let's assume the price is 200 naira just the color be either this or red so right so. so let's add noise Increase this guy and increase the line, the spacing. Sorry, then go to relative position, centralize it. So, just to add a little something there, let me just emphasize the new. Let's add our last effect on this. Just the last one. Click on that. Go over here. Um, let's get something. Um, this. Um, more than yeah. So this is what I want. So this how this works is just reduce the opacity. You can add a color to it. Okay, so once this is done, just send it to the back. This background is sent to the back, too, right? And this guy reduce the opacity also. This. Okay, so this is this our design. This is what we're going to be working on, right? So just centralize it, and the price is there. Um, can I add the outline to it? Let's see. Just copy this and do under tweak to it. We're not doing anything special here, but just So that you can have a good position for it. 
just bring this the right top to the front which is this to the front right then this um, this lady can also come to the front right and then the, the whole price thing can come to the front all right and then add the shadow to it and let the shadow go to us So we're almost done. So um, make sure that everything is centralized properly. Okay, so this is our design. This is what we're going to be working with. So all we have to do is to save as project and just call it uh, Mama Yummy. Okay. So we saved our design. Now to put it on a mock-up. Put it on a mock-up, we have to save it first. Save it as um, save it as P and um, sorry JPEG Ultra. Now that you save as JPEG Ultra, now the next thing you're going to do is to carry it over to PixArt where you're going to be doing the order magic. So let's move over to PixArt. But let's work on the design a little. Alright, so we just work on design a little, just touch it. Go to tool, go to details and increase. Increase and go over to vignettes and then reduce it like this. Alright. So this is done. So we can go ahead and save it. We can also work on other effect but let's just save it and then go over to pix art where we're going to put it on a mock-up so we'll go to pix art where are you pix art so this is pix art and click on the plus button and you want to create a design now we're going to bring in the mock-up first so let's go and get the mock-up this is the mock-up i think i already downloaded it this is the mock-up right this is our mock-up so how do we do it now we simply go to um, add photo right so go to add photo and we'll look for the design we just saved which is this one here just one and then we add it click on hard now it's going to add like this so go over here and drag it drag it until it is full like this so that we know what we're doing we can reduce the opacity okay so we can see exactly what we are doing so that we see what we are doing okay i can still reduce it a little no okay uh -huh. so we can see, we can leave it like this So let's leave it like this. Um, all right. I would have given an allowance for it. Um, okay. So let's leave it like this. So what are we going to do next? Now, just go back and then go over here where you have blend. Okay. Then you see what's oh, sorry overlay. multiply all right so just click on multiply and this is what will happen immediately and then click on this guy here the check and then we can go ahead and say so this is how the design is now so go ahead and save it so i believe it is So it's already saved. So this is it. You can 
see that it's dark so we'll just go right to edit which is color filters i'm writing it a little okay and work on the contrast also writing contrast you see it writing contrast So this is our mock-up, you can now work on other stuff here. I think with a yellow will be better. Okay. shadow to it I taught you how to add shadow in one of the previous videos but just in case you forgot it to add shadow just click on this click on stickers and then click on lock click on this guy click on this guy and move it and then go back again and add color now when you've add col added color then make it black and then you can now go over to here Lock it and then remove the color. This is the color. Squeeze it then, and then that's your shadow. All right, so you can go over here. Sorry, you can go over here and change the color to suit the color that we want to work with. So this is our shadow. This is our design. So you have successfully created the mock-up. So you can sometimes you will need to reduce the opacity of the shadow so that it doesn't look too this is it so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching